That was a shooting in uh, Philadelphia, but because it because it involved black people, you're gonna hear little or nothing about it. It's not gonna be all over the news in the way it would have been had it been white people shooting. I want you all to pay attention to the game that's being played. It's a game that's being played upon you. This is NBC Philadelphia. Three killed, 11 wounded in, quote-unquote, mass shooting in Philadelphia. Watch this. A mass shooting on South Street. Gunfire erupts on a Saturday night. 14 people shot, three of them killed. We're going to need everybody. We got multiple victims. We got hundreds of people. Law enforcement sources tell NBC10 this video is key evidence in the investigation. You can see the man in the white shirt pulls a gun as a fight breaks out with two others on South Street between second and third. Then you hear gunfire. And the person taking this cell phone video ducks for cover. Sources tell us the man in the white shirt is dead. One of the three people killed last night. Yesterday was a dark day for Philadelphia. Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw says an officer on patrol fired and struck one of the shooters. The gunman dropped his weapon and got away. Yeah, Rosemary Rose, you can see I'm on South Street and it's completely shut down to traffic. And you'll see increased police presence, which business owners and residents we spoke with say they appreciate because in the weeks leading up to yesterday's mass shooting, there was increased chaos from cars spinning out of control and crashing into buildings to just last Tuesday, another shooting. Amazing. But because they're black, no one care. What the? They're just black people. That's why they're put on earth. Isn't it amazing that now that they have gotten rid of the police, no bail's bond, that these people are just out of control? They have zero, zero sense of self control. Zero. And you have these people running out of a country now in charge of the police department. As you can see there, a black female police commission commissioner there in Philadelphia. This is not helping the situation. It's just making it worse. It's just making it worse. So it's like you really are not trying to repair the issues, the problems. You're piling on. You're not making it better. And you're doing this to be nice to the blacks. And not all, not all, but most blacks. What about qualification? What about the people who know what they're doing? That's what made America Really amazing The people were talented people. And that woman, I've been told, were, was uh, at one time she was the police chief in Port- Portland, Daniela Outlaw. Danielle Outlaw, that black woman that was in the clip that we just played. And Portland is a mess. Before that, she was deputy chief, deputy chief in Oakland, California, in Oakland. So you're sending these women around the country with a record of already not knowing what they're doing, and you're hiring them in other places to bring the same hell into the earth. She's traveling around the country getting these jobs, screwing up the country. But she's black. Amazing. It's just amazing to me. It really is amazing. 